you're asking for a date, you're asking for a year, it's still a date. And at this time, I am telling you that I do not have the date. Things in Fulton County, Georgia are now stranger than strange. That is the divorce attorney for one of the prosecutors going after Trump. Yes, the divorce attorney of one of the prosecutors is now on the stand answering questions about the affair between the two prosecutors. Nathan Wade and Fannie Willis, the district attorney prosecuting Trump. Willis hired Wade as the special prosecutor, paid him about $650,000 of taxpayers' money. Trump's attorneys and some of the co-defendants in the Georgia case claim that at some point the two started sleeping together. They, they definitely started sleeping together. Everybody knows that. The issue is whether they lied under oath about it, and now Trump's lawyers want them thrown off the case. Shandell Summer, former assistant DA and Georgia public defender, is here. It's good to see you, as always. Thank you. Good to see you, Leland. Um, am I wrong, or does this just keep making Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade look worse? It definitely makes them look like they're trying to cover up an affair that began long before he was drafted to be the special prosecutor in this case. And the reason that's important is because they both got up and gave a specific timeline for when the affair began. And you've had two witnesses now who've come in and pretty much blown that idea out of the water. The first witness testified that Bonnie Willis um, had been involved with Nathan Wade uh, since she rented her condo, which was early 2021. The relevant time frame is November of 2021 when Nathan Wade was hired on the case. Right. So she put the affair back that far. And then Terrence Bradley, who was formerly Nathan Wade's law partner and represented him in, a, in his divorce, had sent a bunch of text messages to the attorney for one of the defendants. And in those text messages, he's answering all sorts of questions about when the affair began. And he's very clear about when it began. It began in 2019. So that was a, a very interesting right, development. It's, very, it's really, yeah, it's, it's very different, right, beginning an affair at the office after someone's, you know, you're working together than hiring the person you're having the affair with using taxpayer money and the worst of all is, is lying about it under oath. Look, let's listen to, and I think you rightly pointed out that Trump's attorney did one of the best jobs today um, in his examination. So this is Bradley and Trump's attorney. Take a listen. I'm asking you, how did you know that? How did I know somebody when they met? Told, somebody told you that, right? When they met? Yeah. Yes, correct. Who told you? Mr. Wade told me when they met. So you had more than one conversation about the relationship between Mr. Wade and Ms. Willis because he told you where he met her. That's correct? incorrect. Incorrect. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. But This is what I can't figure out, okay? These are prosecutors. Forget him. I'm talking about Wade and Fawny. They're prosecutors. They do this as a job. They catch people lying. Rule number one, don't lie and make it worse, and it appears as though they broke that rule. Why? Well, Mr. Bradley, I don't even understand why the district attorney's office didn't cross-examine Mr. Bradley after the defense shredded him. Uh, because they could have easily come in and said that there was bad blood between Nathan Wade and Terrence Bradley, and so he had a motive to try and um, hurt him by sending these text messages to Ashley Merchant. But the state didn't do anything after the defense really resoundingly proved that Terrence Bradley wow. was evasive and um, basically would not answer the questions. And do, he I, asked do I have them it right? I mean, just in terms of not cross-examining, do I have it right that the judge in this case gave a campaign contribution to Fonnie Willis? He may have done that. That's that's not a disqualification to give a campaign contribution to someone. Okay. In fact, I think Ashley Merchant gave a, a campaign contribution to Nathan Wade. But the judge in this case did an excellent job today. Of yeah, he's really been very good. Narrowing very, very good. the issues. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, the judge the judge has been probably the, the judge has been the star. Um, he seems fair. He seems like he's searching for the truth, which. Um, used to matter. Hopefully it does now as well. Uh, good to see you as yes. always, Shandell. Thank you. Thank you, Leland. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.